We'll try to understand how do we simplify rational expressions and write their restrictions in this particular video. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll talk about rational expressions. We'll actually simplify them and then state the restrictions. Four examples are before you. Let us take them one by one, starting with very basic question number one, which is 3a squared over 2b times 10b cubed over 9a to the power of 5. And then we'll see how do we simplify when factored forms are given to us when we need to factor all these combinations. Beginning with the very first question, which is given to us as 3a square over 2b times 10b cube over 9a to the power of 5. Let us write down the restrictions. Now, for restrictions, denominator cannot be 0, right? So, so b is not equal to 0, which is in the denominator, as you can see. And then a can also not be equal to 0, right? So, these are clear restri restrictions for the moment. Now, let's look into how do we simplify. To simplify, take care of the numbers first. 10 can be divided by 2 5 times, 9 can be divided by 3 3 times. So we simplify the numbers and then I'm just writing the variables a square over b and then we have 5 b cube over 3 a to the power of 5. Now let us look into simplification of the variables, right? So as far as b is concerned, this is to the power of 1, that is 3, so it becomes b square. a, which is a square, and here we have 5, 5 minus 2 is 3. So we get 5 over 3 as the numbers, b square divided by a cube. Do you see that? So the simplified form can now be written as 5 over 3 b square over a cube. But remember to include the restriction which is a is not equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0. Only then these expressions are equivalent otherwise not. You will notice that after simplification there was no b in the denominator. However, b not equal to 0 remains the restriction. We have to write them before we simplify. You get the idea. After you factor. Now let's take the second example. Well, factors are already given to us, right? So, whenever it is division, we should write that as multiplication with the reciprocal. So, we could write this expression as 6 x minus 2 whole square over 3 minus x. Now, let me first copy it as such, which is 2x minus 4 in the numerator over x minus 3. So, it is already factored in the first case. So, we'll, we'll write 3x minus 2, 6 times x minus 2 whole square divided by 3 minus x. You see 3 minus x and here we have x minus 3. This is a good practice to take negative common, right? So I could rewrite this as minus of x minus 3. Do you see that? It is same as 3 minus x. Now this is a very critical step, right? Now multiplication instead of division will bring x minus 3 in the numerator and 2x minus 4 in the denominator. Make sense? 
Now you see x minus 3 and x minus 3 will cancel out with a negative sign here, right? Let's write down the rest of the terms. We have 6 x minus 2 whole square times, now there's negative here, right? So negative remains times 1 over, so 1 over 2x minus 4. I can factor out 2. Do you see that? x minus 2. So you can see that 6 can be divided by 2 and x minus 2 square can be divided by x minus 2 leading this to minus 3 times x minus 2. Make sense? Correct? Now the thing is we have the simplest form what could be the restrictions? Now, for the restrictions, you have to consider denominators of each part. But when you divide, you should also consider the numerator. Because you see, it does come in the denominator. You get the idea, right? So, let's now write down all the restrictions. So 3 minus x not equal to 0 gives you x is not equal to 3, right? So, which is for both of them. And then 2x minus 4, you could do like this. 2x minus 4 is not equal to 0. 2x is not equal to 4. So, x is not equal to 2. 4 divided by 2, right? So, we have two restrictions here. One, x is not equal to 3 and x is not equal to 2. So, these are the two restrictions. We write here, x not equal to 2 and 3. Is that clear to you? That is how you have to simplify and write down the answers. Perfect. So, specify the restrictions as such since it is required. And then when you write down the answer in the simplest form, include restrictions. Clear? Let's move on and take the third example. Now, in the third example, we are given the quadratic functions we need to factor them, right? So, so we have 2x plus 6 over x squared plus 7x plus 10 as the first term times x squared plus 3x minus 10 over x squared minus 4. Now, 2x plus 6, 2 is common. You can write this as x plus 3 when you divide by 2 each term. 7x plus 10, 10 is 5 times 2, and when you add them, you get 7. Can be written as x plus 5 times x plus 2. Makes sense, right? Here, it is minus 10 in the numerator. So, one number has to be positive, the other negative. Bigger number is positive, because 3 is positive. So, we have x minus 5, bigger number is Positive means x plus 5 and the smaller number x minus 2. Is that clear to you? Denominators difference of squares which can be written as x plus 2 times x minus 2. So before getting to this stage your factoring skills should be good, right? So that is one thing. You may have to review the factoring skills at this stage. Now look for the common terms. We have x minus 2 cancelling out x plus 3, x plus 5, x plus 5 cancels out. So now we could write this as equal to 2x plus 3 in the numerator and we have two terms x plus 2 and x plus 2 in the denominator, right? So which could be written as x plus 2 whole square. Make sense? Coming back to restrictions in this particular case, look at the factors. So, each factor you have to look at, right? So, x plus 5 not equal to 0 gives you x is not equal to minus 5, correct? x plus 2 not equal to 0 gives you x is not equal to minus 2. And x minus 2 not equal to 0 gives you x is not equal to 2. Correct? So, we have the restrictions that x is not equal to minus 5, minus 2 and plus 2. 
So with this simplified form, you should include the restrictions, which is x is not equal to minus 5, minus 2, and 2. Is that clear to you? That brings us to the last question. So I'd like you to pause the video, factor this, and then simplify. Also include restrictions. Take it as a test question. OK. So let's begin by rewriting the question. First, we have x squared plus 3xy over x squared minus xy minus 42y squared. Now I'm changing division to multiplication. So I'll flip this, right? So we have x squared minus 10xy minus 21y squared over x squared minus 9y squared. So, so the first term here, x is common. So we'll write x here. We get x plus 3y. Denominator, 42y squared, right? So we're looking for two numbers whose product is 42 minus some minus 1. 6 and 7 works for us, correct? So I could write this as x minus 7 times 7y, right? Because it's y also. So very important, we have y squared, right? And we have x plus 6. Now in the second term, we have x squared plus 10xy minus 21. So 21 is 7 times 3. We can add them to 10, both negative, right? Make sense? And this is difference of squares. You could write this as x plus 3y times x minus 3y, correct? So you have the factored form. Now try to cancel the terms, which could be, right? OK, so th these were y's, right? Let me rewrite clearly. x minus 7y and x minus 3y, correct. So x minus 7y cancels. x minus 3y also cancels. x plus 3y also cancels. So we are left with x over x plus 6 as a simplified form. And the restrictions are that since it was division, we have to look for factors of all three of these, right? So, one by one, x is not equal to 7y, and then minus 6. This is also plus 6y, right? 6y, sorry. So, 6y, and then the other factor, minus 3y, and plus 3y, right? So, So all these factors lead to restrictions. So we have four restrictions in this particular case. So I hope this concept is absolutely clear. So when you have 42y squared xy, then the factors will include x minus 7y and x plus 6y, correct? So I hope you have understood how do we simplify and how do we write restrictions? Remember, even when the term gets cancelled, restriction, because of that term, should be included. Perfect? So with that, we come to an end of this interesting set of examples. I'd like you to practice more. Take up questions from our playlist. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. In case you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.